Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. For those of you who are new, my name is Melissa. Welcome in. Today's topic that we're going to be reading on is going to be what is the next major life change heading your way? So my intention with this reading is to try to pick up on what this major life change is and when it's going to come in. Please keep in mind though, you guys, is even though I'm asking about specifically major life changes, some changes that could be revealed in this reading might not be as major or as transformative as others. Same thing with the time frame. Time frames are always very fluid, so just kind of keep an open mind when it comes to that. But if you're curious to kind of know what changes are headed your way, this is gonna be a really, really good reading for you guys to tap into. Always keep in mind that you're not bound to this reading. It is general in nature, and it's really just showing you where you're headed based off your current vibration, based off the current actions that you're taking and what you're currently doing. So if you do see a big life change predicted out for you in today's reading that you feel kind of anxious about or you don't really want to receive, don't fret because you always have the free will to make your own choices and decisions about your future. So let's go ahead and get into our deck selection for this really exciting reading. Starting here on the left, we have deck number one, the Mermaid Tarot. Deck number two is the Muse Tarot. Deck number three is the Kawaii Tarot. And then deck number four, we have Queen Alice Tarot. So take a deep breath. Think about the next big life change headed your way. Select the deck you're feeling the most intuitively pulled to. Really try to pick with your intuition and your gut versus your eyes. And once you've made your selection, go ahead and click the corresponding timestamp down below in the description box so that you can fast forward to your reading. Hey there, group number one. Since you guys chose the Mermaid Tarot, this is going to be your reading all about the next major life change heading your way. So as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to get some specific details about what this change is and hopefully be able to pick up on a time frame for you guys of when it's coming. So stay tuned till the end because that is when I will be revealing the time frame. So let's start off with some Oracle cards. So for your next big life change, group one, we have expectation, change, and we have the mature man. Okay. I'm gonna grab these two as well. We have the Healer of the Ages. And we have the Thinking Woman. So let's go ahead and shuffle some tarot cards on camera here so we can get some clarifiers to these messages. And then we'll kind of move on with the interpretation and I will be adding in some additional oracles as well. So go ahead and let's clarify, Spirit. What is this major life change happening for my Pile 1 viewers? What is going on? Okay, so we have the Five of Wands popping out right away. interesting. We have the Ace of Wands. Lots of fiery energy coming through. Some of you guys may be fire signs or there could be a fire sign of significance involved here. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So let's take a look here. Bottom deck energy, the Knight of Wands. There's a lot of fiery energy coming through here for you guys. Um, pile number one, lots of wands energy. Um, so there is like, just right off the bat, I'm really picking up on a lot of action oriented, very passionate energy. But I feel like there's a little bit of maybe perhaps confusion here <laughs> about whatever this change is. So let's just kind of start off from the top. So Right off the bat, I feel that the big life change hitting you guys next has to do with, I mean, literally it says it right in the heart of the spread. This does have to do with some sort of change or movement. And with this car being here at the heart, 
this is making me feel like this has to do with like you guys traveling or moving somewhere, um, moving on from something maybe. This can be about you guys maybe moving into like a new home, changing a location for some of you. But regardless, it's like you guys are moving on from something in your life. I feel like here with the expectation card, this is something that you guys have been wanting for a little while. You've been expecting a change. You've been waiting for a change. And I feel that there's been a little bit of conflict around like maybe how to do it. Um, because when it comes to the actual change itself being clarified here by the Ace of Wands in reverse, this sort of indicates to me that there's like a lack of spark or a lack of that ignition to be able to like propel yourself forward. So it's like, you know there's a change coming, coming, excuse me, or a change that you want to make, but it might feel a little bit exhausting for you as you guys are moving through this or unclear, we'll say, about how you want to go about it. I feel like there's this energy of you guys like maybe having a certain level of expectation around like what you, you're wanting or you're expecting about what this moving on is. Um, and that could be why we're having a little bit of like this tougher sort of challenging energy coming through here when this big life change presents itself to you. I do feel like there are other people involved in this change as well. And this could be where that conflict is coming in because the five of wands is typically when we're competing with others or we're fighting with others, we're bickering, we're arguing, or it's just like that challenging sort of ugh, like it's, it's exhausting. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. <laughs> this could be talking about other people's expectations of you when you do move away from something. I feel like you guys are wanting to ignite this change in your life or move on from something because we have the healer of the ages here, which is more about like you guys, I think, wanting to focus more on self and doing something that's good for you. Um, the healer of the ages is very much a, like reminding me of the hermit energy. So I do feel like you guys have put a lot of thought into this. And this change is really about following your heart and following what you know intuitively is going to be right for you. But there is, like I said, there's like this fighting or competing or trying to live up to a certain standard here that is is going to perhaps make you feel like you have a lack of energy to actually propel forward here. I also think too with a mature man for some of you I think that this change could have to do with like a father figure in your life or a, a strong masculine figure of significance. We have five and five so it's making me feel like this person this person is coming through really prominent so for it's showing here as a masculine, mature man, but keep in mind this is a general reading, you guys. So this person of significance could simply just be a prominent figure in your family, in your life. They could be feminine. It doesn't really matter, but it's more about the energy of this. Like this is making me feel like a grandfather, a father, somebody who has a lot of wisdom, somebody that you hold a lot of respect for. Um, somebody who has a lot of knowledge and who's very well traveled here. This could be a husband for some of you guys as well. But I feel as though this movement, this moving on, has to do with this person in some form or fashion. And with the Seven of Pentacles, this is about putting in effort and energy into something. And I, I am being called here to like this, this is like a family energy so I feel like for some of you, maybe you're, the change is about you moving on and having a baby or moving on from being like single and starting a family with somebody. There's something here about family that's really coming through for me as I'm viewing this reading, okay? The Seven of Pentacles, though, also does talk of like reevaluating and reassessing our circumstances and needing to be patient. And so kind of going back to this expectation energy, because I feel like what's going on here with this is that you guys are maybe needing to be a little bit more patient with yourselves as you're flowing through the changes here and maybe potentially dealing with mitigating other people's thoughts and opinions. Because this really indicates that you've worked hard, right? The seven of pentacles is when we've worked really hard on something 
but there's still a lot more work to do. And so I do feel for some of you, this is a change that's going to feel, I almost feel like the change will feel tough, but small. Like you're going to be like, that's all I got out of that. Is <laughs> kind of what I'm getting from it. Um, but the, the silver lining in this is that this is about you guys making sure that you don't lose momentum, right? Like you're assessing return on investment. You may not have the full rewards that you want just yet, but it's coming as long as you can continue to put in the hard work and effort into the situation, okay? This thinking woman card being reversed is really interesting as well because this talks about confusion like I was, like I was um, mentioning earlier. And this is about needing to really focus on your own personal growth, which is very much what I'm seeing coming through for you guys here. And so like, I do feel like this figure here is somebody that could be causing this conflict in a way. Um, and you guys are really being guided as you're moving through this to focus more on yourself, focus more on your own self-development and following in your own intuition. You can see here his third eye is illuminated here as well. So there's a need with this change for you guys to be patient and do also do what feels right to you. Maybe even being patient with the people around you if this change affects them. Um, and being patient with yourself, you guys. That's really important. If you guys are feeling like this lack of energy or just feeling this like conflict or confusion about your path, this is a really important time as you're viewing this reading to sort of maybe start like a meditation practice or start like tuning back into your own inner guidance. Because at the end of the day, you're the only person who knows the right path for you. You know what I mean? And I do feel for some of you, this mature man is here to provide support and guidance, but you want to make sure that it's not at the expense of you being the leader on your own journey. So let's see, I'm going to pull a few more cards here for you, group one. So we have health and we also have success. Interesting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Health, this really explains like that lack of vitality that I'm picking up on here with this Ace of Wands. Some of you guys just might be feeling physically drained by the change, but also you guys, this, this change I feel is going to be very healing, not only for like your physical body, but for your mental health as well. Maybe some of you guys really are pregnant and this is about you like moving into a place of comfort and just like relaxation or something like that. I feel like that's a specific message for somebody here, but if that doesn't resonate with you, um, this change is really here to, I think, probably challenge your physical health as well as your mental health. Depends on the person viewing, but it definitely feels like there is something around a lack of vitality that's really important here, and pregnancy just keeps coming up. It's crazy. Um, or mental health and mental peace are coming through as well. But the important thing here, the exciting thing is that you guys are destined for success here with the success card. Um, again, it's just about you guys being like a little bit more patient with yourselves um, and achieving your goals with integrity as well as coming through because this thinking woman is also somebody that could be dishonest or de deceptive in the way they're doing things. And so if you guys are kind of like falling into any tendencies like that, it's going to be important for you to make sure that you're, you're, you're being true to you and true to the situation and just be patient. So you guys are definitely moving somewhere. You're moving away or moving forward to something. And let's go ahead and see when this may happen for you. So we have during the waning moon or waning moon, however you want to pronounce it. So I would, if I were you guys, look up online, um, Google the moon cycles coming up in the next few months and see whenever the waning moons are, are scheduled to occur. And it could be around that time frame that you start to see this shift coming through for you. Keep in mind though, like I mentioned in the intro, the times are so fluid and it all depends on the energy you guys are exuding 
with regard to the situation of when it comes in, but this can at least give you guys a little bit of a guideline here. So let me know, pile one, I feel like this was super general, but let me know how it resonated in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Um, thank you so much for viewing this reading today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey there, deck number two. If you all chose the Muse Tarot, this will be your reading all about the next big life change heading your way. So we're going to start off with some Oracle cards, and please make sure you guys stay tuned till the end where I'm going to try to channel a time frame for you so we can see when this change is coming through. All right, so for pile two, next big change, we start off here with unexpected income. We have imprisonment, we have mature woman, we have all tied up, okay, and we have magician in the mirror in the reverse, okay, interesting, hmm. Not all life changes are always positive, but I'm not seeing this as being super negative. I do see some challenge coming through though for you guys. Um, let's go ahead and pull a few tarot cards so we can just get some clarifying messages and then I'll get into the full vision of what I'm seeing here. So let's see. So for my pile two viewers, let's go ahead and clarify these messages here about the next big life change. Oh my gosh, I cannot shuffle. Ugh, headed their way. Speak of challenges, this deck is challenging as heck to shuffle. It's insane. Okay. Let's see for pile two. Next big life change. Let's clarify. Okay, so we have the temperance card, beautiful. We have the muse of voices, which is the king of swords. Okay, air energy. And then we have the hermit card. Hmm. There's a lot of energy, you guys, in this reading of feeling stuck or being um, on your own, flying solo a little bit here because we've got all tied up imprisonment and the hermit, which is interesting. So <clears throat> the next big life change and also to the magician in the mirror reverse kind of speaks of not, not being in your power in a way. So I feel like the next big life change coming through for you guys is some sort of divinely guided or divine intervention type of support. <laughs> I feel like this is talking so loudly to me about like feeling stuck or feeling just like trapped or maybe fearful of coming out of one shell or coming out of a situation, feeling uncertain about how we might pull ourselves out of an energy that we feel trapped in. And I feel like with the unexpected income in the temperance card, this is about just at the right moment <laughs> in divine timing, the universe or someone in your life is going to throw you a bone to help you. Unexpected income can physically talk about money. So if you guys have been struggling with finances or something like that, um, this is like a good sign that there is support coming through. It's not necessarily like interpreted as like a giant, like you won the lottery or something like that, but it could be something as simple as like you get a refund for a bill that was overpaid or something like that. So there, it's like there's some sort of small support that's coming through that's going to help you feel a little bit more balanced in your situation here. I feel... Sorry, there's just a lot coming through. I feel like you guys might be a little bit too tied up in the details of what this is, what the support is because of the imprisonment card. I'm really being drawn here to that little mouse. When I think of mice, I think of like small little details that are sometimes important, but not always important. And so 
it's making me feel like you guys have maybe like a very, um, you have like a specific way or a very like strict, strict <laughs> or structured way of thinking about how you might, or a rigid way of thinking about how you want to receive support or how you want to be receiving money. Um, that might be making you guys feel a little bit stuck right now. Because the King of Swords, I mean, this is a different depiction. This is the Muse of Voices here. But, you know, the King of Swords is a very, like, rigid, structured sort of energy here. And I'm wondering if this is about your thoughts, the way that you do things, your belief systems, are what is making you guys feel trapped. Because... I'm not really getting the vibe that this is like literal jail for anybody, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe it is for somebody out there. I don't know. Hopefully not. I'm not really getting that vibe, though, because of the fact that we have, like, this card really talks about you're not as stuck as you think you are. It's very Eight of Swords in the Tarot. And the same thing with the Magician in the Mirror, because this is all about, like, not standing in your power. This is about feeling like you don't have the capacity to create what you want to create for yourself, the life you want to create. It's more about like self-limiting beliefs and doubts. And so I'm wondering if you guys are receiving this like support, this unexpected gift from the universe, and it's making you feel like maybe you don't deserve it, or maybe that wasn't the way that you wanted to receive it, or it didn't come like, yeah, like it didn't come in the, the package that you were expecting or that you wanted it to. And it's funny because in this temperance card, to me, this woman does look kind of worried or concerned in a way, even though temperance is not really a card that talks about that, but just intuitively picking up on it. That's how it feels for me. The mature woman, this is making me feel like this is a, this can represent you, my viewer, and this being like, you know, that internal sort of dialogue that we're having that we just talked about, but this also can signify a feminine of significance in your life that's providing that support or that's attempting to assist you. Um, so think grandmother, mother, any feminine, you know, and it doesn't even have to be a feminine, just any person of significance in your life that would have more of that matriarchal or nurturing energy to them. This is a person that could be the one that's helping guide you through this. And with this hermit card here, I feel like this could be somebody you know, that's very wise. Typically we think of our elders as being really wise. At least I definitely do. Virgo energy coming through really strong here. So this person could be a Virgo. Um, but either way, this is about you guys taking some time to self to be able to come up with the right answer. I'm almost wondering too, if for some of you, it's like, No, I don't know. It, it really feels more like the change is about receiving this support and maybe not really knowing what to do with it or receiving the support and then feeling more free after receiving it. Because also with this muse of voices, this is a really beautiful free energy and there's, a, there's like a portal opening up here. There's a pathway opening up here. When I think of air, I think of freedom as well. And there's like this little figure here walking into that portal. So it's like, I feel for some of you, even though there's this energy of being stuck or trapped, this little divinely guided support is probably going to help you guys feel a little bit better about the path that you're on. And I think it will propel you guys to sort of take some time for yourself to sort of reflect on the situation and figure out like what was the lesson you learned from it? What's the wisdom that you can now apply so that as you move forward, you can manifest the exact outcome that you want versus feeling like you don't have the power to create for yourself. So let's keep going. I've got a few more cards here. So we've got psychic protection around me now, a shield of gold protecting me strong and bold. We also have divine guidance, whispers from the beings who shine, let their message be clear and kind. Yeah, you guys, this is like, this is all like mental stuff <laughs> that's going on with you. I mean, 
some of you might really be physically like, you know what, what else this could be, you guys? Oh my God. I don't even know if I want to say it because I don't want to speak it into existence, but this could also even be like another lockdown or something that happens unexpectedly. You just never know these days with how things go in the world. Um, and that, you know, that has extreme ramifications on mental health and us being able to achieve our goals and plans that we set for ourselves because we feel like we're stuck. But I think this is about you guys learning that despite the circumstances, you still have the power to create, even if it's doing it in a way that's different from your original plans. You guys are being protected during this time, so I don't want you guys to feel like worried that this is something really bad. You're protected and you're on the right path. Divine guidance, temperance, these talk about like divine timing and things flowing <laughs> the way that they're supposed to. So you guys are going to be fine during this. And the important thing to note here is that you are supported. It feels more like it's about your mindset that you guys will have to work on. So let's see when potentially this is going to happen. So we have the new moon. Okay. So what I would do is for you guys, for your time frame, look up the moon calendar, the moon cycles for the rest of like the next few months, the next year, and see when all the new moons are happening. Because this is likely when you're going to start to see this energy or this shift coming into your life. Okay. As the energy stands right now, remember time is fluid. This can always change, but this kind of gives you a little bit of a guideline. So we're going to go ahead and close it out there for you group two, but let me know in the comments down below how it resonated. I'm super curious of what's like been going on with you guys. Um, but thank you all so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey there, pile number three. If you all chose the Kawaii Tarot, this will be your reading about next big life change heading your way. We are going to start off with some oracles. So let's go ahead and do that first and then we'll shuffle your tarot cards here. So for pile three, we have message, we have the privileged lady, <laughs> we have the pathway, we have the storm warning, and we have blossoming abundance. This is like beautiful energy that I love to see. Let's go ahead and shuffle some tarot cards for clarifiers and then we will get into this energy a little bit more. So let's go ahead and see what are these, what is the next big life change happening for my pile number three group? I did shuffle these a little bit off camera, but just want to do a bit more for you guys. King of Swords, we have the Judgment card. One more. The Five of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom deck, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so what is this change coming in for you guys? I feel like you guys are going to be receiving a message. And it's a message that is maybe like a warning message. It's not necessarily bad news, but it's definitely with that King of Swords. It's going to be like communication that's very matter of fact, very blunt, um, very much like this is, what's, this is what it is. This is the structure. These are the rules, whatever that might mean for you. And... Um, I feel like when you guys receive this message, it's going to kind of give you the opportunity to reevaluate your circumstances here a little bit in your life and the way that you're living your life. The message is providing or the communication you're receiving, and this could be like a text, it could be like a letter, a bill, I don't know, like a, I don't know, an email, something. Could even be someone calling you guys up on the phone. And the, the King of Swords could be a person, like a masculine of significance in your life, but. I feel like 
what I'm feeling from this is that the news that you guys receive is going to give you the opportunity to sort of reevaluate the way that you're living your life. Um, the privileged lady is making me feel like you all are either living in a place of abundance. We do have blossoming abundance here. Or maybe some of you guys are wanting to be in a more abundant state and you're trying to kind of figure out how to get there. But this typically indicates that we're like living really well. And I think that the message has to do, I feel, with wealth and status of some sort. And you will have this opportunity here to sort of decide how that's going to fit for you. This news or whatever you guys are getting is leading you to a new path. It's leading you on a new journey, a change, a transformation, because we have so many butterflies. You guys are setting off on a new journey here in your life that's leading you to abundance. But before you're able to do that, there's something that has to be abandoned. There's something here that has to be left behind. It's interesting, too, that the Five of Pentacles came up because the Five of Pentacles is typically when we lack financial abundance here. We've lost something. I don't know if that's necessarily happening for you guys here because it feels like you're in a very like solid, abundant state when you're receiving this message. But I think that maybe this path that you're headed down is requiring you to leave something behind. Um, or perhaps it is a path where even though it's going to lead to abundance in the future, at the very beginning, you're not going to necessarily have all of the same luxuries that you've always had all of the time, okay? So this could even just be like you guys starting off on a new path, like a new job um, that doesn't pay as much or something along those lines. But the point is, is that this life change that's coming in is, is getting you away from something that is no longer serving you anymore that could potentially be destructive and it's propelling you towards blossoming abundance. It's propelling you towards having all of the things that you need to feel comfortable in your life and then some. So let's see, let's get a few more cards here. So we have safe travel. We also have the justice card, okay? So the pathway could also be speaking of traveling to you guys. So for some of you, this life change literally involves moving. It involves going somewhere else. It could even just involve you guys going on a trip somewhere. But it feels more big than just like going on a vacation to me, honestly. And with the justice card coming up right next to this, I do feel... Um, This is about putting whatever you've put in is what you're going to receive back, okay? So if you want to receive this blossoming abundance, you're going to have to like really put in the, you know, put in the work so that you can receive it threefold. But if you've not really been doing the work, this is when you may not see the rewards come through that you want. So this would be a really good time, I feel, for you guys to sort of evaluate your situation and what your goals are and really decide like, are you putting in enough effort so that the universe can help co-create you and help sort of meet you halfway? Um, or are you just kind of like sitting around like feeling all, like good and comfortable with all your stuff but not really doing anything? You know what I mean? I definitely, though, feel like the news, even though we have this King of Swords, which is kind of like very like matter of fact and it is what it is energy, it's very blunt, I still don't feel like it's bad news because we do have the Knight of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, which typically indicates good, like loving, happy, like it's like a love offer. It's, it's, it's about a message that you're going to feel happy about. But I do feel like there's some sort of business that has to be attended to with this because it's definitely not all like warm and fuzzy energy. <laughs> so let's see when this is going to happen for you, pile three. So we have Gemini season. So right now as I'm recording this video, we've already passed Gemini season for 2021. So maybe this is about Gemini season of next year for some of you. But I definitely feel like the, you know, like the May to June time frame is of significance and Again, just keep in mind, timing is always fluid, you guys. So this is just kind of based off your current energy, and it's a general reading. So it could be sooner for some, 
further out for others. It just all depends on what you're doing. But this is sort of a roundabout energy that they gave me here. So I would love to hear from you guys. I feel like that message came through super quickly and clear. So let me know in the comments down below how it resonated and what you feel this significant change could be about. Is it expected? Is it unexpected? Let me know. Uh, but thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey there, deck number four. If you all chose the Queen Alice Tarot, this will be your reading all about the next major life change coming your way. We're going to start off with some Oracle cards. Shuffle your tarot on camera and then we'll kind of go from there. So for pile four, we've got occupation, family room, we have lovers, we have angel of balance reversed, and walking away. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Already I'm picking up on like I'll, let me reserve. Let's let me reserve my thoughts and get your tarot cards next, and then we'll we'll talk. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get some clarifiers here for my pile number four viewers. What is this major life change that's coming through for them? Sorry, guys. Oh, I messed up my, my vibe. It's okay, I'll fix it in a second. What is this major life change for my pile four viewers? What is this about? So we have the page of cups, love this. Kind of confirming the initial energy I was picking up on. Okay, five of cups reversed. Okay, wasn't expecting that, but cool. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So pile number four. What I'm feeling this change is about for you is you guys are, I feel like this is about you all changing up your work environment. I feel very much like work from home vibes here is like the, the change that I'm getting. And with occupation, this is more about like creative endeavors or hobbies and interests that we do, almost like a side hustle type of vibe. And with it being clarified here by the Page of Cups, this further confirms that I feel you guys are gonna be shifting into an occupation where you're doing something that, you're, that you love. You guys are doing something creative and I feel that you're doing it from home. Like you're doing it from whether this is like your family home, maybe you're literally doing it in the family room in your house, but this is certainly making me feel like the work is happening in the home. And I feel like with the five of cups reversed, this might be something that feels like uplifting to you. Like maybe you guys have been feeling disappointed about your work situation for a little while or not really seeing the return on investment of the work that you've been doing. And I feel like this is going to make you feel happy, happier about your situation that you're able to work at home um, in the comforts of your home. And if that's not the case, then this is just about you guys sort of finding the positives or the silver linings and being able to work from home. Because I definitely feel like with the angel of balance reverse, this change when it comes in is going to throw you off your game a little bit. I think it's going to throw you off balance a little bit because it might be a little bit outside of the norm of your work that you've been typically doing, maybe a little bit outside of your typical routine. <laughs> um, but you guys are doing what you love. So I feel like it will even itself out, but when it first comes through, it might just, it might just throw you off a little bit here. Um, I also feel there's like a tendency here to like maybe be overworking yourself with this 10 of swords because especially with that angel of balance, I definitely kind of feel as though like the 10 of swords is here because it's, it's talking about potentially overthinking or overworking to the point of burnout. So I don't know if this change is coming in after a loss of some sort, like that could be the case with the five of cups where Maybe for some of you, like you've lost something. And so even though you're doing what you love, it's like you're overworking yourself 
to compensate for the loss. That's definitely a message coming through. But we also have the lover's card here. So this makes me feel like you do have like a romantic partner or someone in your space. Like I just keep envisioning like the family, the lovers and you like all trying to live together in this space. <laughs> And I'm wondering if that's also sort of causing some friction here as well, because if it's something that you're not typically doing, then it's like, I could see where this 10 of swords would be happening, where people would be getting frustrated with one another or feeling like it's just too much to balance it all. And I feel like with the walking away energy, this is about, you know, having walked away from something else to be able to do this. So let's see what else we get with these other oracles for you, group four. So we do have the message of friendship, okay? And then we also do have the message of authenticity. So authenticity, like right away, this is like you guys are doing what feels right for you, which is strongly coming through here with this occupation and the Page of Cups. I do wonder if there's another change coming through for you guys with relationships as well. The lovers, even though this does talk about love and romance, it, for, the, for this reading, this can also be talking about friendships or other connections in your life. And with it being with that Ten of Swords here clarified, I'm wondering if when you guys start to shift into this new change, if some of the friendships or relationships that you've had in your life come to an end, a lot of times this happens, especially when we go through like big changes, you'll start to notice that the friends that you once had in your old life, quote unquote, are not a vibrational match for you anymore because you're ascending, you're rising above and they're still back where you guys were. And so I'm wondering if you guys are in, in tandem with this change coming in with your work, I feel like some of you all are walking away from connections that no longer serve you or that are no longer in alignment. And you're really calling in friendships that feel like joyful to you, that feel, you know, like you can be yourself. You can be authentic. So this is about like you guys changing into a role that feels more authentic with work, but also manifesting in authentic friendships too. So it's, it's very positive. And this message is coming through like super clear. So let's go ahead and see like what time frame it looks like we're headed toward here for this. So right now, the timing they're giving me is December. So for some of you guys, December timeframe is when you're going to start to see this shift here. And, um, you know, keep in mind, like I said in the intro, timing is always fluid and it can vary person to person with general readings. But I would definitely look at December winter timeframe, depending on where you live, um, as being a time when you're going to start to see this energy shift into your life. Okay. So let me know, Pile 4, in the comments down below. How did the message resonate with your situation? I always love to hear feedback from you guys. Um, but thank you so much for taking the time out to view this reading. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.